Oh, thank you very much, Mike. It's a great honour. My family and I, are, it's a great privilege and an honour. So thank you all. Look, what a, what a, uh, how, how do I start really? I've spent 30 years in this country after I left the shores of Australia for two years. I never went back home. And uh, I've always said I've had a hobby, not a job, really. I've loved what I've done. I've been devoted to this disease and trying to understand it and trying to cure it ever since it was discovered uh, in the late 1980s. So here we are now. The last decade's been spent uh, with me being fortunate enough to lead the development of these drug regimens that pretty much cure everybody in the world with hepatitis C. You take a pill... Uh, once a day for eight or 12 weeks, and pretty much everybody is cured without side effects. So uh, there's about 70 million people in, the uh, uh, people in the world infected with hepatitis C. We've cured about 2 million. So we only have about 68 million to go. So uh, a lot of work to be done. Uh, but it has been uh, an extraordinary scientific experience to have, uh, to be involved in something that affects so many people, really 1% of the world's population in certain countries. Australia has been an integral part of this. I've worked with a lot of Australian experts on hepatitis C in a variety of different ways. Australia has led the field in terms of our ability to eliminate uh, and uh, control the disease. The WHO has these goals to eliminate or control hepatitis C worldwide by 2030 with certain particular goals. And Australia's really done an extraordinary job. And that's because everybody's worked together as a community. These, these sort of uh, advances in science are not by, made by one individual. They're made by communities and teams of individuals. And Australia's ability to work with the pharmaceutical industry to secure drugs at reasonable costs to make them broadly away, available through the national healthcare system, and then to really scale up what we call implementation research. The drugs are available. Now we have to get them to the people who need them to prevent the infection from spreading further. And I strongly believe Australia will be able to do that. And it's an honour to be part of that. And I wish you all very good luck there. And I'll be keeping an eye on you from over here as well. So thanks very much for this great honour. and. Uh, uh, I, I can't say much else, but thank you.